Well, good morning or good afternoon or good evening, whatever time you might be watching this. Hope that you're doing well. Um, we just want to welcome uh, my friends and family uh, that are watching today and, and just pray that you're, you're doing well, that uh, you're being encouraged in the Lord and that uh, God is, uh, realize that God is always good in all that He does in every situation and every circumstance. And, so um, just my prayer is that uh, you just continue steadfast in, in prayer, as Paul would say. Uh, I did say in the scripture that uh, you would just be encouraged in prayer. Just, uh, just begin to seek Him, and, and not only as we, as we petition uh, with our requests, but just to listen also, and listen to desire, see what God's desires are for your life, and be constant in prayer. And you know, sometimes I think we get uh, in, in, in circumstances and situations that um, we were, we feel like maybe we're distant from God or that, uh, God is, uh, not hearing us, that, that God is, um, uh, you know, is, is just far away, maybe not even answering our prayer. And I, I think all of us could relate to, uh, you know, that, that being, uh, happening at some point in our lives. I know that, uh, a few years ago when, uh, I was working away from home and, and uh, I, I just, you know, I was praying to God, and, and God had drawn me close, you know. And, and I, 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 you know, with the things that, uh, you know, just kind of digress a little bit, the things that, that really uh, are important is that uh, the circumstances and, and situations and uh, places that God has us at times uh, that may be uncomfortable, that may be difficult, uh, that may, you know, that may be painful in some ways, um, you know, really those those times that we are really to be thankful for because those are the times that uh, that really we draw close to God. I, I, I'm, I'm such that when things are going really smooth in life, sometimes that I, I don't spend as much time as I, I should with God because, uh, I, you know, I don't I don't feel like that, you know, I'm really needing a lot of help and I, I always need help and I and I and I try to try to get myself to where I, I'm constant in that and, and whether you know whether I'm in in times that uh, are are difficult or times that are easier that I always spend as much time or try to spend as much time in fellowship and in prayer with God because uh, that's the most important relationship that we can have and I'm I'm thankful for those and but those times that we are in that um, uh, you know be thankful for that and that God is is drawing us near and and I go back to the story is that you know I was in a situation working away from home where um, you know, I, I just kept praying to God because I, I really wanted to find, you know, work back where, where you know, we lived. And uh, I knew at any at any time uh, God could open the door. You know, I mean, God is, is God of all creation. Uh, he's all powerful. He's all knowing. And, and when we really believe that, when our faith is really there, we know uh, that we know that God can change circumstance anytime we want. But, you know, God doesn't always do that and he chooses not to. Um, I know there was a, a, a new Christian one time that uh, I was uh, I was counseling with, and and he was really struggling because he was kind of in the same situation that I I was in. That uh, he was asking God to you know help him um, you know uh, find other type of, other type of employment and what he was doing. And he said, you know, God's not answering me. I need to do that. And and you know, and again, I I know we've all felt that same way, but God places us. Uh, in those circumstances and situations, because God wants to refine us, He wants to He wants to purify us as gold. He also He He wants us to learn to trust Him. Uh, you know, the apostle said, "Jesus, increase our faith." And um, Jesus said, "You know, if you had the if you had the faith of a mustard seed, you can say unto that sycamore tree, Be thou removed and cast into the sea, and it, it'll be done.'" And as I was thinking about that, is, is I, you know, I've always thought, well, maybe, you know, he's talking about just having, if you have just very, very small faith, that can happen. But really what I think that is being said is the faith of a mustard seed. And, and Jesus says this in other places, that the mustard seed grows into the one of the largest garden plants that there is. You know, it, it, it just, although it's the smallest seed, it grows into this, this huge plant. And so... That, I think that's what God is, is, is in what Jesus was speaking of there as he said, uh, your faith is a mustard seed. It starts small, but it begins to grow. And the only way that we can grow in faith is for God to uh, place us in, in situations where our faith does grow. And how does our faith grow? Is It, it grows by uh, uh, trying us 
and putting us uh, where we have the tribulations and trials. And in those trials, we can do one or two things. We can kick and scream and complain and murmur and do all those kinds of things. Uh, but uh, honestly, I think that just prolongs, uh, prolongs the situation. When we finally come to the point that uh, we understand, all right, well, God is in control. God does know my circumstance, and, and God can, in fact, change this at any time. But uh, before he does, he, he has a work to do. And, you know, the Bible says that he who has begun a good work in you will be faithful to complete it to the end and, and be thankful in those times. But, you know, I want to share a couple of scriptures with you this morning that maybe, uh, maybe will help us out in this. And uh, over in James, uh, in the third chapter, uh, actually in the fourth chapter, he talks about, he says, uh, he says, be afflicted and mourn. And weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning, and your joy to heaviness. And you say, "Well, I'm, I'm already there. I'm, I've already, you know, I'm already at that point." And, and what he's saying is, he's saying, "Let's, let's draw near, and let's, let's begin to earnestly seek God, and, uh, you know, get to that, get to that place uh, mentally and spiritually that we're, we're, we're desperately." seeking after God, that we're desperate for Him. Because he goes on and he says this, and I think this is so important, and this is this is where our, our prayer should be, is that God would bring us to this place. He says, humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and He shall lift you up. So I think that's key, is that we, you know, in whatever, where we're, wherever we're at, and um, in our in our daily life and in our trials and our jobs and and maybe in even in church or or uh, in friendship uh, wherever wherever life has you right now is that we're to humble ourselves and and what that means is that we we submit ourselves to uh, the will of God is that we we submit ourselves to that circumstance and say you know what. Uh, God, I don't. It doesn't matter, uh, you know, what what it is that uh, where I'm at right now. I I just trust that I'm uh, at a place that you've got me, and that you place me, and that you have a purpose in this, and uh, that that we're submit to His will. Um, over in First uh, Peter, um, <clears throat> in uh, the fifth chapter. He says, uh, "Likewise, younger, you younger, submit yourselves to the elder. Yea, all of you be subject one to another, um, and be clothed with humility. For God resists the proud, but He gives grace to the humble. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, uh, that He may exalt you in due time." You know that's that's something that that God also is is working constantly in our lives is to remove the pride and the, what is the pride? What are we talking about? Well, it's it's the pride that says I you know I can do this myself. It's the pride that says, uh, you know God, um, yeah, thank you for salvation, but I I've got my life from this point and and sometimes that uh, uh, I you know God has to for me I know that that constantly I I'm having to. Uh, you know, battle with the flesh over different things, and pride is one of those things. Is that I, instead of trusting and completely allowing God to to uh, be the uh, uh, the ruler of my life, the Lord of my life, then I try to you know I try to take control and, and do it. And, and God says, "All right, well, I'll let you have that until you know." And then we get into a situation to where you know we place ourselves, and He says, "All right, well, you you still want to do that," and I'm, you know, we turn it back. Him, but I think that that's one thing that we really need to deal with is uh, the pride of uh, uh, being uh, in control ourselves rather than let God control our lives and trusting that He knows better for us because He does know better. And, and so in all things that we do, we, we trust that He is going to be the one that um, uh, knows, knows what's best for us. Um, you know, and, and, and the, the thing that we, we find out sometimes is that we feel like that maybe we're trying to draw, you know, that we're away from God or that God is, is distant. And, and, and there, Isaiah talks about in 57, 15, he says, For thus says the high and lofty one, he's talking about God here, that inhabits eternity, whose name is holy, 
I dwell in the high and holy place. And, and, and it, now he listen to what he says here. He says, I dwell with him also that is of a contrite and humble spirit to revive the spirit of the humble and to revive the heart of the contrite ones. So what, what God wants us to do is what God's desire for us to do is and, and the quickest way we can draw near to God is to humble ourselves under his mighty hand and where, wherever we're at. And and maybe it's it's um, maybe it's sin in our life that uh, you know that we've got sin and we're just you know we're hiding that and we're saying well we're trying to justify it say well you know God I I only do this or only do that and but I'm I'm I'm, I'm doing well everywhere else and and God says no I I, I want a hundred percent of your life I don't want ninety nine point nine I want a hundred percent of where you're you know every part of your life God doesn't desire just part of us. He wants he wants all of us. He wants all of our life. He wants all of our our um, uh, every part of, of who we are to come before and love him because he wants to love us back and as we humble ourselves before him and and the word contrite there is is talking about uh, that comes from a, a Latin word it means to be crushed and uh, sometimes that God will crush our spirits so that he can in turn build it back up to him and that he wants us to put us in, in situations where maybe it's it's crushing our, our our person but he wants to do that so that he can build us up so he can exalt us and and every time in every situation and every time that God has placed me somewhere like that when I finally get to that point to where I humble myself and begin to trust him he always he always begins to build me up and he places me, he exalts me into a, uh, into his favor, and it's always better than I could ever do myself. And so that's that. I think that's one key that we uh, we we learn as Christians is humble ourselves under his mighty hand, and that he he's going to lift us up. So one more scripture here. He says, "The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart, and save such that are of a contrite spirit." So when we become poor in spirit, Jesus said, "Blessed are those who are poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven." And I preached on that before. And basically, to be to be poor in spirit is to is not to have any reliance on our own self, not to rely on our own uh, strengths, uh, on you know our own wisdom, but to rely on God's wisdom. And so I I just encourage you today um, that you you just you you thank first of all. Uh, Become thankful in where God has you. Um, Job said, uh, and when he was under such great conflict and under, uh, you know, all the things going on in his life, he says this. He says, "Yea, though the Lord slay me, yet will I trust Him." And that's where we have to get to: is to be thankful. Yeah, the Word tells us to, you know, to uh, be thankful in all things, and that um, you know, be anxious for nothing, but in everything with prayer and supplication let your with thanksgiving let your request be known unto God and so uh, I, I hope that I, I have uh, brought this message brought this word forth for us today that we understand that uh, wherever we're at in whatever situation to remember to be humble to be meek to be um, uh, fully immersed in in the grace and love and favor of God and trusting that wherever we're at, whatever we're doing, and both physically and emotionally and mentally, that we trust in the living God, the God that's creator of all this whole earth, and that we re re repent from our own pride and our own uh, righteousness and, and turn to His righteousness because we have no righteousness before His throne. And uh, that we, we just seek Jesus in every part of our life. That we say, Jesus, you are my strength. You are my salvation. You are my all in all in every part. And I want to fully rely on you. And Paul says, when I am weak, yet then I am strong in him. And he said, I'd prefer to be weak so that the power of God may rest in me. And so that's what, that's what God is saying is if you'll humble yourself, then He's going to lift you up. He's going to strengthen you. He's going to bring you to that point that where you need to be. And so be humble and be contrite and uh, be um, uh, encouraged that He knows exactly where you're at. He knows what we're going through. 
And not only does he know where we're going through, he's placed us there. And he is going to lift us up as soon as his work is done in that. So be encouraged in that and be lifted up and seek him. Like I, like I said earlier before we, and when we started this, is that uh, just, just seek him daily and hourly and, and minute by minute in prayer. And it doesn't, you know how prayer is, is maybe it's a short prayer. And, and maybe sometimes we're on our knees for a while, but we're seeking him consistently and constantly in prayer. Be, be encouraged um, and know that, that God loves you and encourage others in this too. And just just take this message and maybe maybe uh, you're hearing it today and maybe you know somebody that needs to hear it and just, uh, just encourage them in, in those scriptures and, and uh, be blessed. And I'll look f- uh, forward to being with you again next time. God bless.